Hello, welcome back good people. Dean here again from GroundbreakCreative.com. Today we are taking another look at the Rowan Mini Power uh, power supply for your pedal board. Um, this is one I've already done a review on. Make sure you check that video out today. We are responding to a comment that has told us that the outputs are in fact not isolated. So we are going to test them. Uh, we are specifically going to test them the way we have been asked in the comment to test them. Uh, to show you what happens, um, I read the comment this morning and thought, that's a bit cool, man, because if these guys say it's isolated and it's not, they're potentially in a lot of trouble. So we're going to find out what the story is by testing them again with the multimeter. Make sure you check out my other review in that one. Uh, I pulled the thing apart so you can see the inner workings of it. You can see the amount of circuitry in there, which is a lot of expense to go to to glorify a daisy chain. But nevertheless, we're going to check them out anyway and show you what's happening. So remember to click subscribe so that you get notified. Uh, click the bell as well so that you know when we are uploading new videos. We do all sorts of reviews, lessons, and everything music. So stay tuned and see what happens. I did mention in the other video that um, that I suspect uh, power supplies such as the Voodoo Labs are going to have a much more effective uh, term of isolation than, than a cheaper thing like this does um, and one thing that we can look at there is I think the Voodoo Labs probably take um, the wall voltage straight into the unit with a jug cord whereas with this you get like um, kind of like a transformer that goes into the unit so this is my pedal board this is what I constantly uh, run with this pedal um, power supply so I have uh, the SD1 I do have a noise suppressor here I generally don't have to use that but I just I have that effect uh, using an effect loop with my two overdrives here just in case I do need it um, sometimes it depends if there's something going wrong with the system um, where I am or if I'm in a different venue or something um, and you can get a bit of gain hum through the overdrives uh, so I have that there just in case but generally that's off and I don't get any signal noise my guitar is a Fender Telecaster double humbucker I do use humbucker pickups um, which helps with getting no noise of course um, so yes noise suppressor SD1 overdrive um, mo modified MXR uh, the Uni Ball actually doesn't take any power, that's completely passive. Uh, Polytune Mini, that's just a little tuner. The TC Electronic a Triple Delay um, from the Flashback series and the TC Electronic Sky Surfer Reverb. That's, that's what I run on a regular basis, so I'm not yet using all of my outputs. Um, I've still got two spare there. So I've been instructed to unplug the power supply. Um, I'm not quite sure why because you never are going to use the power supply with that unplugged but nevertheless we will do as we are told um, and then I am told to use my own meter to test for continuity between the outputs so now the thing that you do need to realize I would expect to get continuity at some stage through any unit because if you have one power input eventually through no matter how much circuitry you go through eventually you've got to end up connecting to that power that same power input somewhere um, so we will see how we go here um, so this multimeter meter is a little bit slow um, so we'll hold it on for a bit till it finds its register. So 0 0.3, that's what I'm getting just through the cables, which is uh, not particularly great. But at least that gives us a standing reference point. So I'm just going to plug from two ends 
So these are connected into here. Um, the, you'll notice I have put tape on those that I said I was going to do in the last video because the lights on it are super bright. Okay, and what we're going to do first, we'll go into the center here. And this is where I think our commenter, if he is testing this way, may be going wrong. Because you'll see there that we will get somewhat of a connection. Okay, but that is actually our earth, not our power supply. Okay, on these, the power supply is actually on the outer sleeve. Okay, so you can see here, number four, power output jack, um, which it is just labeling a standard output out of the side of the unit there, nine volt and um, direct voltage output, center negative. All right, so if the center is negative, then the, then the outer sleeve has to be positive. So, get it connected, I'm trying to do it without connecting, touching it with my hands, because you will actually pick up a resistance through your body, because electricity can travel through your body, you are a conductor, to some point, okay? So nothing there, I'm just going to knock these settings up a bit, so we get into the higher ranges. See when we can start picking something up. So there's still nothing there, that's at 2000 ohms. Now we are getting into 20 kilo ohms. Is that kilo ohms? Yeah, kilo ohms. And now we are starting to get a reading. So that is just about 17,000 ohms, okay? That is a lot of resistance, okay? Um, so if we compare that to a daisy chain, if I can find one. So obviously a daisy chain is just connected connection to connection I think that might actually be a stuffed terminal on there see if this is a good daisy chain it's probably not it's just been thrown around so we before I moved it Zero ohms there, which was even better than just our cables stuck together. Zero ohms there, okay? So that's a daisy chain. That's what an unisolated output would look like, okay? So 17,000 ohms is a lot of resistance. Like I say, you are always going to have a continuity because you always have to come back to a power supply eventually because otherwise you would have to have eight separate power supplies so you would have to have eight of these plugged into the wall for it to be truly fully 100 percent isolated but like i say the likes of the voodoo labs and that sort of thing the more expensive products um, of course they're going to do this in a better way you'll probably find more resistance there. They may do more to isolate their earth as well. Um, but this is between a third and a quarter of the price of that unit and much smaller. Um, so it's, it's not trying to say that this is as good, but it does the job for cheaper and takes up less space on the board here. Cool. So that is just a direct response to that comment. You'll see another comment on the other video um, about a guy's particular pedal um, that it makes noisy. Uh, but if you just go and watch his video, he's got that video. I think he may have posted it in the comments. If you go to his channel, you'll see the video anyway. 
um, that uh, he shows you what's happening and um, yeah it doesn't quite make make sense what's happening there I think he's got other issues in his system but like I say I run this constantly this board here and I have no trouble with noise with it so uh, there we go that's just an easy way to physically show you an answer to that statement